So, about two weeks ago, there's a ship that went too close to the shore and got stuck, went over a reef, and it's still bit there, it looks like. So, let's go check it out. Now, the most important part of the story is that the ship itself is a US registered ship and the captain is a uh, American but the rest of the crew excluding the five who are actually have the official shipping uh, fishing licenses um, the rest of the 15 people apparently do not have any licenses or legal documents and they're all from Southeast Asia and the vessel is owned by a US uh, fishing company that is something Guys, I think I found the ship. Let me take you guys. Ship is right there. Can you guys see the dot? All right, just as I was getting ready to get my drone out and fly my drone out that way, it started raining. We'll wait this out. You guys can tell but can you guys see all the fish in there there are some couple big ones there, are those like squids or something they're like down there trust me trust me today's weather is not optimal for drone flying but trust me there are a bunch of fishes down there i'm gonna actually go back i was just waiting here for like about 30 minutes or so waiting for yeah the rain to stop but it doesn't stop so i'm gonna i'm gonna take this one for the next time but you, you guys saw the ship down there right yeah so that's what it is for now but we'll fly the drone one day over that ship so you guys will get to see that hopefully they don't get rid of the ship <laughs> by then so yeah well we can all agree that that was a successful mission right <sighs> I just literally got there and it was fine then like well, as I was setting up my drone it started pouring rain never stopped but like the place where I was standing there are like big fish fishes so then that would be like a really good spot to do like uh, fishing maybe I'll put up pictures of what I wanted to show you guys now pick a wrong day to go out but on the way back home I got actually something that I wanted to show you guys this is uh this is gonna be for my lunch actually one of my favorite food from Hawaii it's a pokey pokey don so this is a Hawaiian pokey with some onions and uh, this is like the octopus underneath it is a uh, rice I got a free juice passion orange aloha this one's also good All right let's eat I mean look at this this is just really, really good. Mm. Oh, it's spicy. Wait, I asked for brown rice, but they gave me white rice. Oh well. Oh, they're spicy. Mm. It's good. This is one of my favorite food from Hawaii. It's uh, basically tuna marinated with uh, soy sauce and like spicy sauce sometimes like this one. And then they put that over rice and it's just like, it's honestly tastes so good. Oftentimes you get to choose many toppings including very common ones are like, like octopus. Again, same story, you know, marinated with soy sauce and such. Uh, yeah, these combinations are like the best. And I got a free drink, Aloha Passion Orange. This one probably has got like 5% of real orange but and 33 grams of sugar. But this one is really good. <sighs> yep, the combination is perfect. Mm. 
I got this from this uh, place called Ono Seafood, which is like one of the most popular uh, poke places now. It's changed before when I live, used to live here. I went there and it was very low key. But in this couple years, it's got really popular and uh, it was very busy, but still it's so good. So you guys definitely check it out. should check it out. I'll put the information uh, in the description section and yeah, you must try this when you come to Hawaii. I definitely pick a wrong day to get uh, drone footage of the salvage ship. Maybe I'll get a chance next time, but I was pretty bummed out about it. But this definitely helps me recover from the loss. The location of the salvage ship is in Waikiki. Waikiki is like one of the most touristy beaches in Hawaii. And it's just like, I was so surprised when I went there. It was just like sitting there. The ship was just sitting there. It would have been so cool if I got the shot, but as you see back there, today is just a horrible, horrible weather today in Hawaii. Rare, very rare. The weather has been really, really crappy today. Like a couple days ago, there was a big storm that came and then all day long, the weather was like terrible. And then the next day came when the weather was like gorgeous. And then again, once again, it's a rainy, cloudy, Hawaii, it's quite rare actually. Yesterday I was really pumped because I got to go to the pool in this condo and I'll have the footage right here. You guys gotta check out this nice beautiful view from this pool okay it's honestly so nice from here i hope you guys get a little sneaking peek of it's like in the new apartment well, i can't see the people walking right below me check it out you see that there are people right below us i don't know if it's focused well look at those people So uh, this is the view from a little bit farther away. As you can see, the sunset is right there. There's like a seating area. I really love working on my computers while sitting down right there. It's amazing. As I have put up a uh, picture on Instagram, you guys should definitely check out my Instagram account. The sunset was beautiful. And I've seen this pattern before. I've heard before that when you see a really, really nice sunset, the next day the weather is gonna be crappy. And that's, this happened twice during this week. And I think it's true. Is that true guys? Anyways, the weather really makes me like, feel gloomy and then I'm motivated so now I think I'm gonna go to the gym and get energized this is like San Francisco weather today here by the way this cover is a Hawaiian kilt this is traditional by the way, have you guys tried this? This black tea is really good. Kajaba. Mm. It's not sweet at all. And it's very, very tasty. I've been missing this. This is so good. <clears throat> By the way, in the last video, someone commented and asked me to speak Japanese in one of these videos. What do you guys think about that? I'm not sure if you guys are learning Japanese, but the most useful vocab for me that I can teach you to you guys is sumimasen which in direct translation just means sorry but it can just literally be used in any situations in cases like if you want to say excuse me sumimasen or 
you want to be sorry, apologize to someone, you say sorry, obviously. And then this might sound strange to you, but if you're thanking someone, you can say, すみません. And then that actually means thank you too. There are so many situations that you can just use すみません. It's so nice. It's like, instead of saying like, arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you. You can just say すみません, 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 and you're done. <laughs> outside now. I haven't been to the gym for a long long time so I'm gonna have fun tomorrow morning when I wake up for sure. But with that I think I'm gonna end today's vlog. Uh, thank you very much as always for watching my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did please hit the like button, subscribe and share and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!